So you might be in a situation where for some reason WhatsApp calls are not going through. So basically, they're, you know, maybe people are calling you, but the calls aren't going through. And essentially what happens is the ring, like the call is just not ringing when you actually go and get a call. Now, this can happen for a few different reasons, but the very first reason why this may end up happening is exactly this pop-up that comes up sometimes. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you want to hop inside of your settings application. So hop inside of settings just like so. And what you're going to want to do is you want to scroll all the way down on your phone. So scroll all the way down until you see WhatsApp. So usually WhatsApp will be at the bottom or you just want to get into your application panel here and you want to scroll down until you see WhatsApp. You want to click on it and there's a few things you're going to want to do. First of all, under notifications, we want to make sure notifications are enabled. So go ahead and allow notifications. And when you see this, what you're going to want to do is all these notifications that you have that you can see right here, all you're going to want to do is basically enable them. So just go ahead and enable these specific notifications. There's some up here. You can enable like the lock screen and notification center banners. There's a lot of notifications you can enable. So just enable the ones that you want to enable. And that's the first thing I'd recommend doing. Now, if for some reason that's not working and you do that, the next thing you're going to want to do is you want to go ahead and make sure that background app refresh is also enabled. Some people out there do have this, you know, accidentally disabled. So just go ahead and enable this because that is probably going to be another way that you can pretty much fix this problem too. By enabling background app refresh, what's going to happen is that this is going to allow the application in the background to actually refresh, and that's going to basically fix this problem too. Now, if that's not working, another thing you may want to try doing is just go ahead and update your WhatsApp application. I don't know why there's so many pop-ups, but go inside of your app store, and you want to go and type in WhatsApp just like you normally would. And all you're going to want to do here is basically update your WhatsApp application, and that's another thing you can try doing as well. So that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you.